presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and you YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and prowling with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Assume nothing. In any kind of relationship, you can make the assumption that others know what we think, and we don't have to say what we want. We assume they're going to do what we want because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt. And we think, how could you do that? You should know better. <laughs> Gotta love these cards. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 277. NASDAQ's up 228. S&P's up 51. Gold contract down $12, trading at 1859 an ounce. You got silver down four cents, twenty-two dollars one penny. Light sweet crude up eighty-one cents, one hundred and ten dollars fifty-nine cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, the ten-year note. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Up six ticks, trading one twenty seventeen. The thirty-year down six at one forty one twenty-three. And king dollar, king dollar's up one hundred ninety-five ticks, trading one hundred two oh five zero euro one hundred six. Yen is at one twenty-seven point thirty-four, and the British pound is at one twenty-five to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that what you had out here yesterday, you got a close that one. Nope, I don't need help. You got. A rejection uh, of lower price yesterday, coming into the swing. So what you had is this. The, the first low that we had established out there was on the 12th um, of May. That had 125 million shares. You had a low out there of 385.15. Bottom line, you broke that for an ABC structure down last Friday, option expiration. So you're still on an ABC structure down. That structure is the 364 level. Now, what do we do? Yesterday... They come right back at that level, rejected it, had lighter volume, you had 91 million shares versus 131. Now what do you have? You have a complex ABC. And what that is, is that that's when you jump on the other side of the B point, which we did. You have a contraction of volume. And what I expect you to see here is that, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, I mean, Thursday, Friday, coming into the, you know, long weekend, this, they'll run this thing. And you'll see the contraction of volume all the way up to that. You get window dressing that's happening. I suspect the next leg down. This is setting up the next leg down. That's my, that's my take on this whole deal. And the confirmation of that will be going higher tomorrow and going higher Friday, maybe Friday, and you see a sideways, and you have a large contraction of volume. That that's is that's would be the building cause for the next leg down. We go take a look at the NDX 100. Same type of setup. What we had out here yesterday, bottom line, you had, now the NDX is not, in an ABC structure down, because that, that took out the B point with lighter volume. On last Friday, we had 91 million shares versus that 120. Bottom line, yesterday you rejected, you had 73 million going into that 91, rejected it. Today, you get 50, 51, you'll probably do 75 or something. Uh, bottom line is that this thing can really, really jump up to somewhere about 315. Right now, you're at 293. Gold. Gold contract out here is pulling back. You have light volume on the pullback. You know, you rejected uh, 14, uh, 1875, I think it was. 1845. So you rejected 1845. You're at 1850 right, nine right now. This is probably setting up a small ABC structure on the way up. 
And if it is, you got, uh, let's see, 92, you got, oh, it's a nice one. Okay, so you're going to, it's about a 92 A to B, which would get you uh, 1735. I mean, 1935. Your next swing is 1928. The largest swing is 2009. Notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at the note and bond market here. With note and bond market we did out here, you're up four ticks right now on the 10 year. You're trading 12016. And what we did have out here last, you know, you got a nice kind of trend bounce going. That's the real bottom line. Um, about time, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, you, you have, you, you're pushing the tops of these. Let me just look at this for a second. So if I take this. Let's see where we go. Okay, so 0.382 is 121.27. It should be able to make it to there. We, we can, we're going to really learn a lot. Let's put it this way. Because if you can't do a, a 0.382 of a bounce, that means that's showing you how weak it is. Uh, right now, we're at 120.17. Uh, the 0.382 is 121.17. And good old King Dollar. We get over and we take a look at King Dollar. And what you're going to have with King Dollar. King dollar didn't hold price today. Now, the high in King dollar that was established out here is the 105.005. You're at 102.58. And what we did have in King dollar today, King dollar, I couldn't hold price out here today. That's We made it up to this uh, 102.449. You're at 102.056. That is saying, and you know, when you look at the King dollar's chart, you can see the, the correlation. You know, there's like not support all the way down into this 99,418. So it's not, uh, you know, a, a big deal to get down into that level. That's where it comes, uh, comes out to. Some of the higher volume equities out here, and we take a look at this market, you have uh, Snap, <laughs> Snap after getting smoked, is up uh, buck 50, you get Vince Micro up uh, 262. You got uh, Dick Sporting Goods is up 760 after going down hard, man. This is going to be a cool one to bring up. Uh, Tesla's up. Uh, Tesla's up 39 dollars 667. Let's go over and take a look at Tesla because Tesla is a confirmed ABC structure down to the 502 level, and you get a nice, nice bounce today. There's no doubt about that. You go, you're going into 48 million. You're down to 26 million. We put this back. Let me put this back. Yeah, so 539. It's never even hit the 539 yet. This 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 equity wants lower volume. I mean that uh, lower price. But you can see the the bottom line is that um, you know you, you get the uh, nice bounce happening in the market. If we go take a look at the XL, actually, I want to look at the J.P. Morgan. Let's go take a look at J.P. Morgan. There. Jamie Dimon, Jamie Dimon doesn't pump up his stock too much. The last couple of days, he was out there pumping it. Um, <laughs> and uh, he was basically trying to work for his pay because what ended up happening at the shareholder meeting, there's only 30% of the shareholder vote that was saying uh, he should get a raise uh, on his compensation this year. So as we come back, I will... Uh, uh, go over J.P. Morgan. Dow Industrials right now uh, trading up 317. Nasdaq is up 247. S&P's up 55. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, trading up at 269. You get the Nasdaq up 220. S&Ps are up 49. So we had the Fed minutes out, folks. Uh, bottom line is that we take a look at these Fed minutes, okay? It's going to get really intriguing here. You know, I had been bringing up the aspect that I thought they were going to back off in the July number, meaning go from a, probably to a half to a quarter. Uh, we'll see how this shakes out. Uh, inside the minutes, they're saying flat out that they are going to basically stick to the half a point in both meetings. That being said, in the market, meaning in the bond market, the bond market is pricing in. This just, as soon as these numbers came out, as soon as the Fed basis come out, the bond market is um, saying, guess what? No, they're not going to do a half. They're going to do a quarter. Uh, so we'll see where this shakes out. But uh, some of the minutes, what you had in there, the, most Fed officials agreed uh, that the central bank needed to tighten in half point steps over the next couple meetings, continuing an aggressive set of moves that would make policymakers have, would leave policymakers more flexibility to shift gears later if needed. Most participants uh, judge that 50 point basis increases in the target range would likely be appropriate at the next couple of min minutes. That's a quote from the May 3rd and 4th meeting. Um, many participants judge that expediting the removal of policy accommodation would leave the committee well positioned later this year to assess the effects of the policy Furman and to the extent at which the economic developments warranted policy adjustments. Now, yeah, okay, so we, we know what they said. The most important part that's in all of this Fed meeting, folks, okay, has to do with, let me get to this, has to do with the aspect that they're going to start rolling off the balance sheet in June. And the aspect, this is where this is going to go. Okay, so here we go. So, um, they are finalizing plans right now to start rolling off the $8.9 trillion balance sheet, shrinking it, Okay. Starting June 1st, that's right when we get back to work, folks, after the holiday, holdings of treasuries will be allowed to decline by $30 billion a month, that's treasuries, rising to $60 billion a month in September. So, the, you know, June, July, August will be 30. At September, 60. Mortgage-backed securities are going to shrink by $17.5 billion, increasing to $35 billion. Okay, so 
those right there, folks, okay, this is the crux of the whole deal. And the reason it is, is that the Fed themselves are coming out saying, okay, we may have some heavy dislocations when we do this, okay? And they're saying there could be some liquidity problems. So let's discuss what liquidity is for a second. Liquidity, folks, the only time that you hear liquidity problems are when things are going down. Because what ends up happening is things are going down, so we have the bid and you have the offer, right? And anything we trade, right? Liquidity problems means that the bids get pulled. There's the, you can get out, but guess what? You're going to get out at a lot lower price than you realize. This is something, folks, <laughs> that, you know, no one knows it's really going to happen here, okay? Um, I can tell you from the experience of, you know, be being in the bond market, that the leverage that takes place in Wall Street in the bond market is insane. It's, it's always like incredible. Well, you can hear, watch this. Watch you just even look at when you trade bonds. I just want to show you something here. Yeah, this, gets, this gets intriguing. So, because when you see what, you know, a retail trader can do. So here you go. So look at this. So a retail trader, you and me, right? When we trade bonds, okay, the bottom line is that for $100,000, you know what I have to put up, folks? $1,870. That's it. So picture this. That, that's, that's a retail trader. $1,800. Every single person that we're talking about here can do that. Eighteen. So you can imagine, the, and, and, the, and the aspect is that, you know, one point, you know, bottom line is 1000 bucks. Well, this is going to be a problem, okay? Um, oh, here, so we have a question in the den. What the question is in the den is that who is going to buy them? The, it hasn't, I believe, what is actually going to happen here, and I, I got to do some more research. I believe what's going to happen is this, is that it's going to, they're going to roll off. And so when they roll off, they're expiring, okay? A lot of them are going to be rolling off. The problem comes down to, right to this day, they're still buying bonds. So the question is going to be that, well, no. So the aspect is they roll off and they're not buying. They're not a bid inside the marketplace. We've had a bid inside this marketplace for, what, 12, 12 years. We've had a bid inside the marketplace from the Fed since 2008. That's, that, that's, 12, that's, 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 that's 14 years. That's where the problem is going to come in. So, listen, we'll see, we'll see how this, the whole thing shakes out. Um, yeah, that's going to be a trip. There's no doubt about it. Let's go take a look at the, uh, I want to go over to some of the, no, I know. Okay, let's go to Amazon. I want to go to some of these big dogs out here. So we take a look at Amazon. Amazon right now, this here still doesn't have volume, man. 3.3 .3 million. This is not done going down, man. That's the bottom line. You know, the, you know that's Amazon. Let's go look at Microsoft. Microsoft is 20 million up, same deal, same deal. Yeah, it, it's, it, it, this is all over the place. Uh, the XAUHUI, let me take a look at the XAU first. Let's, we got a leg up. Oh, that's good. This is a good volume yesterday, man. This is good. That was 30 million yesterday. Day before is 22. We're coming into 42. You can see we still need more, but that was good volume yesterday. So that's building costs for higher price out here. Um, you know, tomorrow, folks, we... So we're coming up to the long weekend. Uh, what we are going to be announcing tomorrow is I'm going to be doing a workshop. I'm going to be doing a time in the trade workshop. I haven't done one of these in my God. I don't know, a couple of years, two or three years. Uh, bottom line, that workshop is going to be on June 10th. You know, so if you want to understand price and volume, ABC structures, testing, the whole ball of wax, which I do every single day, um, you know, get ready tomorrow because it's going to be a limited deal. Uh, but we'll have it up on the web tomorrow. Uh, check off June 10th on your calendar. And uh, bottom line, we'll, uh, you know, go from there. Snap. Snap, uh, you know. Got crushed yesterday. 
Uh, oh, and it is live on the front page right now. So it is live up there. Um, if, we take, if we take a look at Snap, uh, what you have with Snap right now, uh, bottom line is that don't touch this thing. This is, this is a confirmed ABC structure on the way down uh, to the price point of um, $9. Okay, so it, it is a very large number. And in fact, if you go over to, let's do this right now. If we go over to TFNN, there's nothing like it. What a crew we got here. It's a beautiful thing, Tom. Thank you, and thank you, Jacob. So if we go over to TFNN, uh, bottom line is that you're gonna see it right there. You can sign up right now, evidently, okay? Uh, well, I know we got this page up. I'm, it's gonna be from nine o'clock to two o'clock in the afternoon. It's two ninety-five. What you get for the two ninety-five, by the way, folks, you get my book, which is uh, eighty-eight dollars. You get the newsletter, which is one hundred and sixty-nine. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a thirty-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 268. You get the NASDAQ up 214. S&Ps are up 49. Let's just go over this workshop for a second because the workshop is up, folks, okay? So if you come over to TFNN, you're going to go uh, right under featured content. You're going to see I'm going to be doing a workshop June 10th. Now, the, the workshop is going to be the art of timing the trade. Uh, I'm going to go over quality volume. I'm going to go over the ABC structures. Confluence. Fibonacci confluence levels, folks, are just so dynamite, it's unbelievable. Um, cause and effect and swing points. Cause and effect, it's, it's subjective. There's no doubt about that, okay? But the bottom line is that the more charts that you see, the more that you really start understanding, you know, just what it's all about. So the cost of the workshop is $295. That being said, what you're going to get with the workshop is this. You're going to get my book, which is an $88 that's what it costs, and you're gonna get my newsletter, which is 169. So you do the math on it, and the bottom line, you're getting a nice workshop. Uh, it's gonna go out, uh, we're gonna start it at nine o'clock and go to noon, and we'll take a break from uh, noon to 12.30, then we're going to 12.30 to two. So if you really wanna 
you know, understand the uh, bottom line. You see me every day, what we're doing. Um, you know, check it out. Uh, and what we are doing is this. I'm stopping it. What, what has happened, we, Discord is a great deal, folks, okay? But what we've found out is that the, once we get over 50 in the room, you know, in the separate room, we got hundreds in this other one, but when we're, when we're talking about, uh, you know, putting um, uh, lots of charts up and all that, the bottom line is that we're, we're capping it at 40 people. So, you know, check it out. If you want to get in it, jump over there. You can sign up now, and then you know you're going to get a spot. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Uh, what you can expect out here today, so let's go just take a look at this indice volume. This is going to be a classic. What I have seen on um, holidays like this, folks, is this, is that they could get this market really going pretty well. Um, and if we do get it going well and you have that contraction all the way up, meaning that for the next couple days, that happens to be, if you're a bull, you, let's put it this way. If you're a bull, you do not want to see that happen. You know, what, you, what you'd like to see as a bull right now is that kind of what happened yesterday. Is that, you know, you got, you got a pop in the market, right? And then what, you, what you'd want is that you want another test like right now. Because what happens is that the uh, energy in the market is all about. So let's say today, you know, we finish at the highs, okay? Tomorrow you go up a little bit high, you have a contraction. The next day you go up a little bit high, you have a contraction. That's a problem in paradise. That's, that, that sets up lower prices coming at you. Let's go take a look at uh, CCI. Oh, it must be CCJ. Or is it CCI? No, it's, I think it's CCJ. It's probably CCJ is Kamiko. Second, there we go. So Kamiko right now. So Kamiko right now is trading at uh, 2418 and the low for the year is 1534 the high is 3249 Okay so let's first see what we banged into on the way down Okay, so on the way down, you went to like the bottom of the consolidation with too much volume. Yeah, I wouldn't be buying this right now. So you hit thirty, you hit thirty dollars, twenty dollars rather. That's a high volume low that's at the bottom of the consolidation. So watch this. Let's do this on this one here because this is pretty cool. Just to, just to see how this shakes out. Um, okay, so your last swing low out here, right? Uh, happened to be, and I'm doing a weekly here. The last swing low was the week of January 28th. We had, we went from uh, $20 to 1803, right? You had 38 million shares traded. We came back down with 45 million shares traded. Now, it rejected the lower price at the lower end, but when you come back in and you have an acceleration of volume, it's a problem. Now, you can turn around and say, okay, is this a toss up? The reason that you can say it's a toss up is that you're still coming back to the breakout area. Now, watch this though. The break, the first breakout area there, had 41 million, and the next day had 58. Well, guess what? We still have 48. That's too much. You're coming in with the too much. And then on top of that, this, and this is where it, you can actually learn more on bounces than you can on the way down or the way up. And you can see on the bounce, you know, we contracted last week, 36, we had a low of 48 million. We contracted with 36. This week here is gonna be, you know, contract even more, so. Bottom line is that uh, I wouldn't step into that right at this particular point. We go take a look at the XLE. <clears throat> so oil market out here, bottom line, XLE is at highs. Okay, so let's pull this. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I wouldn't be buying this, man. I'd be getting, I'd be getting out. So this is going to be classic. This is going to be a great one for us to watch what the heck is going on, right, in the oil market. When I see something like this, okay, I don't hang around, man. <laughs> you know, the, the XLE in five months has gone from $22 up to, with volume, up to 80 And then you can see what has happened. You know, you, you get um, markets that go sideways, okay, and in this, this case, that's what you have. And then you see the first time you come down, see the volume expand? 
the bottom of the, so you hit a high of 147 million. You come down with 227 million. You go higher with 230. You take that out with 157. That's not a good setup, man. That's, that's how I read that. And if we go, let's go inside the X, XOM and X, uh, Chevron and, so Chevron, I mean, Exxon, Exxon Mobil first. That's taking a swing point out. Oh, this is interesting because this, this wants to go higher. <laughs> this is taking a swing point out. Let's see, 94.77, 27 million, 24. Let me put this on a weekly though. Okay, same setup. So this can, okay, so Exxon Mobil can go higher. I wouldn't be buying here either. That's what it comes down to. The re, for the exact same reason, for the exact same reason, that the last time we had volume was at 91. You can see, you know, what happens at tops, folks, tops take a long time. They, you know, but you have the contraction of volume that's happening. Chevron, that was Exxon, because Chevron and Exxon are the two largest weighting structures in there. And, well, the Chevron, you can see, hasn't made the high yet. And that what you're picking up here also is this, is that what has happened is that as we're pushing the swings, you are not pushing the swings with volume, you know. And let's go over to the oil market in general. So let's see, oil. Okay, so CLA. Okay, so we're dealing with the, the July contract. You're going sideways. Yeah, this could spike 116. It could spike 116. You got you to spike up there at 116, but maybe it's a one-day wonder at 116. I mean, um, you know, that, that's, that's how that whole thing can be setting up. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up uh, 225, NASDAQ's up 188, S&P's up 41. And don't forget, folks, I'll be doing this workshop on June 10th. Uh, you can check it out on the front page of TFNN. And with the workshop, you know, you get my book, you get the newsletter, plus you're going to get a great workshop. And I'm totally psyched because I haven't done one of these in a long time. Dow, Dow Industrials up 221, NASDAQ up 186, S&P's up 40. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 226. You got the NASDAQ up 182. S&Ps are up 40. And we had a question about uh, Disney. So if we take a look at Disney, uh, bottom line is that this is, uh, you know, come down, come down hard like the rest of the market. We bring this back three years first. What you're going to see is that we went from a high out here of uh, 203. You're at 103 right now. You're coming into the high volume low. And you dug into it. This is where this gets really intriguing, okay? So, it's, it's pretty amazing, actually, when you look at it. Because the high volume low bar from March 2020, the high of that is 121. The low is 79, okay? And we made it to 99. So, the real question is, is that, you know, you've heard me say this many times. When you get into these high volume bars, and we're in it so much, it's like, man, that can go to the bottom. You know, that being said, it can go to 79 bucks, you know. So the question is, you know, adding on a longer term basis, you know, it's a tough one. Um, I think I'd basically wait this out just a bit. Now, the wild thing. OK, now this is where this is where you have a conflict of fundamentals and technicals looking at each other because because I mean, we're in Florida. OK, you know. You, I have Tommy, uh, my grandson Tommy, okay, we all can't wait to go to Disney. He, he brings Tommy and lands into, you know, Bush Gardens a lot. And in Disney's case, right, what has happened is this, is they are making money hand over fist on the, there's an, there's an article I thought I could pull it up quickly, but I can't, it was in the Wall Street Journal. Um, and what they're doing is that they used to have the fast lines, okay? Now they're getting rid of the fast lines, and now they're basically charging. Well, first off, they charge to get in the park. But then what they're doing is that they're charging per ride if you want to get to the front. And it's turned into a monster, you know, profit center. And so I finished reading this article this morning. I'm saying to myself, okay, man, you know, this got to be the low in Disney. You know, but guess what? There's the conflict. The conflict is that you know, my take is that we're going lower. The aspect of that high volume low when you've already dug into that by, by 20 bucks is pretty intense. So let, let's do this. So I, I want to go in here. As I'm saying that, though, I should go into a weekly first and just to see because it's possible. Well, let's just look at it first. So if I take this and put this on a weekly for three years. Okay, so where are we digging into here? This See, what I don't like about this right here anyway is I think it has to retest 99 anyway. That's the first part because that's a high volume low right there. But the 99 is going into, so you get 113 million. That's going to 148. Yeah, my, my take is it's still going to, you know, if, if I've learned anything in the markets, folks, and you've heard me say this before, the market's job is to take the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time. It's the most efficient mechanism I've seen in the world that can do that. Um, you know, so bottom line is that, yeah, I'd wait it out. That, that's, you know, sad but true, you know, because it's, you know, and, and what also ends up happening is that, the, you know, what tends to happen in down markets like this, you know, the bottom line is that, um, 
I won't be getting any questions <laughs> um, of buying anything until this is over. That's, you know, the folks that are in the gold market know that very well. What happens in the gold market, it has happened for continual for 20 years, is that every time that we get too many calls, guess what? Get ready for a pullback. Every time we don't get no calls, guess right? That's going to be it. And I, listen, man, the market is just so deviant, it's unbelievable. But that's kind of how that uh, I look at things. Here, let me show you something here. Now, this gets wild. So the building business, right? Let's go look at the building business. I know the building business pretty well, right? Toll Brothers, see what happened here? Toll Brothers is up 378. So watch this. They come out with numbers. The bottom line, they were good numbers. But let's look at this technically first. We set it up. You take a look at it. You know, bottom line is that you're coming into, you know, you rejected lower price out here this week at uh, 44.10. The last low that was established out here was 43.76. Now, to me, this is going to come back down. And the reason being is that what we actually did, we had, you, you got into a low and you had an, an acceleration of volume. Now, there's plenty, there's no doubt, there's, listen, there's plenty of support at this particular point. There's, there's no doubt about that, okay? So you have plenty of support. Yeah, you get a bounce going. And I suspect that's about it, you know, when they say you get a bounce going. Because what we did do, okay, you know, they're, they're talking about uh, robust buying power, all of the above. Well, there's a, there's a couple papers out there, folks. And we're really lucky in Florida in general. And the reason that we're lucky in Florida is the, there's so many different home builders, right? What has happened already okay, is, you got a picture, what they're reporting right now, that's a leftover deal. You, you want to know what they're going to do in six months from now, okay? That's, that's the real bottom line. The leftover deal has one thing, going from six months from now is a whole different ballgame. And what tends to happen, you know, in Florida, as, it, as everywhere, but except that in certain parts of Florida we have more land, well, what ends up happening is that the land structure has gone up so dramatically, and a couple of the, you know, larger builders, they basically, you know, have said flat out, hey, man, I think the land structure, I'm going to be pulling back, you know. So, you know, that's, that's actually happening out here right now. Um, you will see where it goes. But my take there is that that's not done also. But, you know, the bottom line, it could be another leg down, you know. Do we have a call, Al? I just say we have. That's, that's not, uh, okay, who do we have on the phone? Uh, why, it's just me. Hey, uh, Jose, man, Lakeland what's here. happening, brother? It's just uh, Jose out here in Lakeland. I love it. Thing. So, we're going to look at Cadence? Well, Tom, before I, before you look at that, um, I, I'm trying to reach out to Richard Dreyfus, people, his agent. Uh, he's going to play you in the movie coming up. We're going to title it The Prophet of Probability, <laughs> Selfie's Visionary Mystic. <laughs> I love it. I'll, I'll go for that. <laughs> Richard Dreyfus, he's the only one that can play you. <laughs> oh, that's too funny, man. Yeah, particularly with this new look, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hey, Tom, I, I, I'm hearing from... Uh, some vendors out there that uh, OSB plywood it's all stacking to the roof at these mills at these lumber yards I can tell you so watch the, the you know what's so cool folks is that so picture right now I have one two I just finished one house that's gone I'm building four three of them are sold and I can tell you flat out I've never built them so quick well when I say four I'm actually building eight houses so I'm building eight so and what has happened is this, you know, I, I said, Jose, to even the subs that were working for me about four months ago, I says, man, I says, are you guys not busy? Because well, I'm realizing that the subs, they're, instead of having two plumbers, they're throwing five. Instead of having, you know, three electricians, they're throwing six. I've never built six, eight houses so fast in my life. So I believe it. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know yeah, what I'm I saying? It's yeah, like, okay, yeah. they're uh, all going to be done within the next uh, six to eight weeks. So it's like, okay, I, I'm digging it. You know what I mean? But that tells me yeah. also that, yeah, it's it's here, man. We're, we're in it right now. We're in it, man. Yeah. Uh, Tom, time to short text. I'm dying to. <laughs> you know, you, okay, you got to let it get a big bounce, man. Don't, don't, yeah. don't do anything until we come back from the, the holiday. I got you. I got you. Good deal. Cook it, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, bye-bye.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up uh, 185. Nasdaq's up 155. S&Ps are up 34. And uh, I had a question about gold and platinum. Yes, I'm bullish in both of them. That's the bottom line. And for two sets, it's the same reason, folks, okay? Technically, they are set up, okay, that they want higher price. And fundamentally, you know, the bottom line is that my take is that this, like today, platinum rejected at 3,937 or 952. This inflation is not going to go away overnight. You know, the bottom line, we'll see whether they can, you know, get rid of it in a, you know, year, something like that. Uh, you, don't, you don't go from 2% to, you know, my take is that this thing hit 20 or 30%. You know, I know the numbers are 7 or 8%, but guess what? You know, things that are important, we've talked about this before, they're, they're monster numbers and, and they will come down. Okay, but the bottom line, it takes what it what it takes, it takes less demand in order to make that happen. And here I'll give I'll give a story. This is another crazy story I've been dealing with all day today. The bottom line, you know, I got containers that I got them out of Shanghai, right? Now I'm trying to get them out of the port of Tampa, and I'm basically I've had played demerge for three days. And what that means specifically, folks, is that the bottom line is that they got them stacked. And after a certain amount of days, they give us four days to get them out. But guess what? If they're stacked and you can't get them out, then I got to pay 300 bucks a day. So there's still problems there. And in this particular case, that's when I'm right here. So that's insane all across the board. So that also means that 
the supply problems that are still there because I, I have an agent ma ma managed to get it out when the lockdown was there, but guess what? The bottom line is that there's all those different things along the supply line, you know. NVIDIA, NVIDIA, NVDA is going to be coming out with numbers this afternoon and uh, 25th, yeah, after the close, man. Uh, so this is what they're going to be looking for. They come out at 16, 20 uh, hours, so that's 20 past four. They're going to be looking to do 8.1 billion and bring $1.30 to the bottom line, right? Is that right? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a lot of money, man. We'll see where they do it. Always remember, folks, the bank and Chloe, the hot out, the bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health happens and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at them, folks. Building